What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I copper modded my Zotec 3080. And I'll, right here, I'm just showing you the temperatures that I get when mining with the card before. Just keep in mind that this card has already been copper modded, but I used copper shims. And so in this video, I'm going to be switching out those shims for an actual copper plate uh, provided by coolmygpu.com which I bought with my own money and so this video is just going to show that process alright so here is my white Zotec 3080 and this is what we're going to be replacing the shims with it is a copper plate from coolmygpu.com they have a bunch of different plates for different cards you just have to read the description on their website to make sure it will work for the card you need it for um, but this is the one for the 3080 and it does work for this Zotec 3080 so that's what I'm going to be using and then of course I have my iFixit kit so I'm just gonna speed through the process of disassembling and then I'll show you what the card looks like and then how I change it up. All right, so here you can see I have both parts separated and my previous copper mod was copper shims and I put captain tape around all the edges just to protect it. Now, when you're taking it apart, just keep in mind that there's three cables you need to disconnect and that's the two fan cables and the LED cable. Now, there's nothing special to removing those cables. You can just wiggle them free. You don't have to worry about pop in any clips or tabs or anything like that um, and from here I'm just gonna take off all the copper shims and clean up around the um, well basically just clean up the previous thermal paste and I'm not gonna worry too much on cleaning the memory chips all 100% because I'm using the exact same thermal paste as I did previously I just want to make sure there's no like residue from thermal pads or anything like that but uh, so let me just speed through the um, cleaning process
All right, so once you've cleaned everything off, you're gonna wanna apply thermal compound to the memory chips and to the GPU core. Now, the thermal paste that you use doesn't really matter. Cool My GPU sells bundles, which include the copper plate and thermal paste, which uh, in this case, they send you MX4, I believe. Uh, and so, you're gonna wanna apply it to your memory chips and you're also gonna wanna spread it around. As you can see, my previous copper mod, I didn't spread them around and it, uh, you can clearly see on the left-hand side that the chips weren't covered completely. So just make sure you use some type of spreader to spread the thermal paste around so that you can get full coverage on all the um, memory chips. And then also after you place the copper plate onto the memory chips you're going to want to spread thermal paste on the spots where the actual well basically just above the memory chips on the other side of the copper mod so I'm going to speed through this process and I'll show you uh, what it looks like at the end All right, so I finished um, smearing it all around and this is my end result. Now I know there's a lot on the core, that's fine. I could clean it if I need to in the future, but other than that, that's pretty much all you gotta do. Now I recommend using Captain Tape to cover everything that's around the memory chips just in case by f for whatever reason the copper plate touches something it shouldn't. And that cap on tape will prevent anything from shorting out. And so, yeah, now let, let me just speed through the reassembly. And we're basically done. I'll pop it back in my mining rig and 
we'll see if there's any change but just keep in mind I had co I had copper on it before so they're really the improvement really shouldn't even be that big in my opinion since I was already using copper but uh, the copper plates are way better to use than the copper shims because they don't move around as much but anyway I'm gonna speed through it and then I'll pick it back up Right, now the cards fully back together and that's basically it so I'll show you the changes in temperature but just keep in mind the card was already copper modded so the changes shouldn't be that big um, it was GPU 10 and that's it so thanks for watching my video feel free to like subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one